Hi, I'm Kyle Schichter, and this is another episode of What's Up with the Mendums. I'm here alone again today because George uh, isn't here because the um, restraining order still has five more days before he can come within 50 feet of me. But um, I'm not alone. I am lucky enough to be joined with two members of the Mendham Borough HSA. There's Kelly Rice and Amy Golier. Did I get it right? Yep. Oh, right. excellent. We're going to go, this is going to go smooth from now on out. Um, thank you guys for, for joining us Thanks and I uh, appreciate us. it. Thank Thanks you. Us. Okay, so. HSA. Yes. What does the, I have, I, I don't, I, I support you guys. I love you guys. I've got two stepkids in the, in the system. I really don't know what the HSA stands for. Homeschool Association. Homeschool. That's easy. It is now, easy. Now, how is it different from the PTA? Is it the same kind of thing? When we were growing up, there was a PTA when yes. I was long. Yeah. Yes. Same here. Um, similar to a PTA, similar to also a PTO. Some people are familiar uh -huh. with that. Um, the only difference is when you belong to a PTA or PTO, you're bound by bylaws. You're part of a bigger nationwide organization. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, so a homeschool association is more of an independent organization. We have our own bylaws. You know, we run our own. So you can just do whatever you want. Pretty you can much. just go nuts. We could. We could. So, so is, is the PTO <laughs> and the PTA, are they very, like, restricting? Um, no, they just pay dues. You know, there's just other oh, financial obligations, and you also you have to just keep up with what their rules, okay. regulations, like their bylaws. So, you know, at any time we could switch to something like that if it worked better for okay. our district. But right now, the homeschool association has been working. Great. And is the homeschool association just you guys specific, or is there, is there also a larger body out there? Uh, as well? It's just the Mendenboro Homeschool Association. Each you know district can choose what they would like to have. It could be a homeschool so you association. Don't have to, you don't have to. Nope. Like deal with anyone else? No, nope, we don't mingle with idea. any okay. other unless we choose to. And so, what are your positions? Because I'm currently in my second year as president. Okay. And I'm the vice president of fundraising. Vice president of fundraising. Of fundraising. I have some <laughs> questions for you later. Okay, great. Can't <laughs> wait. I guess. Absolutely. And I've, but but okay. So this is your second year as president? It is. We do two year terms for our board positions. Okay. So last year I came on as like you know an apprentice president learning from the previous president okay. uh, the role you know and partaking in the duties mm -hmm. um, and now this year I kind of am overseeing um, a co-president so someone you're apprenticing somebody yes okay yes and now how do you get that is it do you, you, volunteer? you volunteer you oh, can I mean a, you volunteer and if there's multiple um, people interested in the position then we do a board vote you know okay. we meet everybody and then we would do a board vote um, okay. And that's how we do it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, not a lot of people are jumping in. So usually you <laughs> get it if you want it. You usually <laughs> get it, which is great. Yeah. Because we are a parent volunteer based organization. Okay. So. And I guess it's, it must be difficult, not difficult, but there's obviously just always a turnaround because then eventually yes. once kids graduate into the, into the high school, right. there's no. Not that there's a need, but they have less of a vested interest to be still involved, right? Right, because there is, there is, or there's other parent volunteer organizations right. at the high school level. So we deal with the middle school. I mean, the yeah, the middle school and the elementary school okay. level. Now, how long have you now you've been doing this for the year and a half now, almost going on your second year? How long were you involved prior to getting? Uh, once my daughter entered kindergarten, which was she's in third grade now, so it's so this your third four year. So third, fourth year. You know, okay. I got involved right from the get go. We try to have something. Um, to involve the parents right from the start in mm -hmm. kindergarten. You know, we start with an ice cream social for kindergartners, which is HSA which is nice. run, and yeah. parent, you know, when parents volunteer to host that mm -hmm. and help out with that. So yeah. Yeah. you can really get started right away. And how long have you been involved? As well as it's Kelly, as soon as my daughter started in kindergarten. And you guys the same daughter the same age? Uh, no, my do my oldest is a year older than Okay, so daughter, you've been, so. okay, I see. So, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. as soon as my daughter became part of the elementary school, there's mm -hmm. lots of opportunities to volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, just, it's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to obviously help out the school. Yeah. So it was um, just get your, you know, right as soon as your kid gets in the school, you want to just like jump right in and then you, mm -hmm. you feel like part of the community. Is, uh, now, so you said there's not a lot of, people like clamoring to like how many 
parents are involved. We have a lot of people vo that volunteer, like just do, you know, say lunchroom helpers, library helpers, special events. People are, we usually do not have a problem getting okay. people to volunteer in that respect. But more for our board positions and running the show, I think people just tend to be apprehensive, like, oh, I don't know if my time, you know, can allow for that. Mm -hmm. So people are a little more apprehensive to take on the bigger roles, like chairing something yeah, yeah. or mm -hmm. being part, you know, of the board. Um, but volunteer-wise, we have a great, you know, group of parents that, you know, we never really have a hard time getting volunteers. So when you have volunteers for the, for like the elementary uh, lunch, mm -hmm. that's you guys handling that? We or? do, yes. We do all oh, the scheduling for the, the yes, no, we do all the scheduling for, you know, the, the parents who help out in the library, restacking books and helping okay. the librarian. We do the lunchroom duty. You know, the parents that are all in the lunchroom doing duty, we, we have somebody that schedules that. So there's somebody who has to always reschedule somebody because someone yes. volunteers for something and yes, then exactly. and says, oh, I can't do the lunch. And that happens right. all the time. Yes. So then they have to email and say, hey, is anybody else available right. on this day? And we, you know, we have an online <laughs> sign of genius yeah. for, you know, all our events and stuff. So it makes it easy for people to just shimmy in, you know, sign up for something if they need to change the date, you know, they can kind of work around their schedule. And that's what, you know, we tried to stress with the HSA that there really is something for everybody. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, if you can give five minutes, we have things that you only have to give five minutes. If yeah. you want to, you know, really get involved and make something your own and share it, there's that too. So, okay. you know, that's one of the things that we really try to stress to parents that it's really whatever, however involved you want to be or you can be. Right. Now, this is something that would, like with the, with the lunch thing, because I used to volunteer all mm -hmm. the time. And it would be constant mm -hmm. people dropping out. Yes. How annoying is that? Yeah. Be honest. I don't no know. I've never, no I've never watching. done it. I've oh. never chaired it. The person <clears throat> who has to who has yeah. to shimmy it all but around. Yeah. Symptom. I think it's just a system. It's like it is any type of thing you're in charge of. Like you just mm -hmm. you just get in a role. Yeah. yeah. So the the, the, okay. the the generous woman that that works at mm -hmm. Kelly Gillard, yeah. she has a system, and she someone drops out, she mm -hmm. sends her the email, and she's yeah. it's like a well oiled machine. It's very well oiled. Yeah. But and I, I and I think parents are conscious of it too. That if like you know somebody can't do it, they're like, oh, let me ask so and so. Right. You know, and they kind of take care of it. Like, oh, I can't do it, but so and so is going to jump in for yeah. me you know right. everybody knows who the normal right. volunteers yeah, 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 are right. so yeah. so I think everybody's courteous in that respect right. that they don't you know just dump it on somebody else they try to find a covering replacement for sure, something sure. Okay. And right so oh, so I didn't realize you guys did that as well. Yeah, yeah. we do. So, so yeah, so we do those types of things. Um, you know, like <coughs> we do the book fair. You mm -hmm. know, that's us as well. But then we also take on um, some fun events like. Um, like the Harvest Hustle, which is a fundraiser mm -hmm. for the Sergeant uh, Morales scholarships that we do. Um, we do, like I said, the Kindergarten Ice Cream Social, which is just for kindergartners. Right. Bingo night. We have bingo night, which is coming up in the... Now, what, is there a pasta night you guys do? Is that you guys? Right, we did do a spaghetti dinner. Yeah, that we that did again? a couple years, um, but now we're mixing things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. We like to do that because we're going to try to host some, you know, plans are in the works to host like maybe a dance at the elementary school oh, and perhaps at the middle school, something of that nature, a fun night for the kids. They don't do that anymore. Right? We used to have dances, yeah. right? They well, that's so what, yeah. So we started, we did, started discussing that because everybody kept saying that, like, let's do some more fun things like that. That's, right. you know, it's not fundraising. It's merely just yeah. a night out right. for the kids to have a good time. Because I think the fifth graders have their mm -hmm. Halloween thing. They have mm -hmm. a dance, I think. But then that's it. Mm -hmm. We used to have dances all the time in all middle the time. school. Was yeah. the best. Yeah, right. it was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, right. DJ. We agree. They had the cotillion yep. this year, but that's not, mm -hmm. that's a yeah. whole. Right, yeah. you just wear like. That's that's a whole nother Yeah, this show. is more just, yeah, come out, have a good time, snacks. Yeah. So we're going to, um, you know, we're trying to implement that. So we try to like find events that are, you know, nice. doing well. Like we used to do a chili cook-off too. And then oh, we right. kind of took that out because we started doing trunk or treat mm -hmm. around Halloween. Um, now trunk or treat seems like that's kind of running its course. So next year we may switch up and Less do something people else. This year? Yeah, I mean we had a really good turnout, but I just think you know that was something you know during Sandy we did special because yeah. there was no trick or treating a couple of years and stuff. And so I just think that we just like the opportunity okay. to do different things. I nice. think you know mix it up that way it's not the same old stale things. People are like oh that event again. You know right, we right, we right, like right. and we like to hear from parents. So if somebody has an idea, we bring it to the table to the board and say hey a parent brought this idea. It sounds really great. Mm -hmm. You know like. Somebody comes from another district, or we see another district doing something yeah. that looks fun. Because it's not all about fundraising. I mean, fundraising is a big component of right. what we also do. Um, but we just we like to get the because obviously to come the together. ice cream thing isn't a fundraiser. That is not a fundraiser. That's just trunk a social or treat? Is trunk, or treat a trunk or treat is not a fundraiser. Sometimes we do make money, but it's just meant to be a community building event. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and bingo night, same thing. Bingo night's just a community building event, getting the parents and the kids all together to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Um, Harvest Hustle, now that's a fundraiser. Is that a fundraiser for the HSA or is that for the scholarship? That's for the scholarship, right? which is the HSA is in charge of the scholarship. Because we do, we do scholarships for the middle school, which a lot of people aren't aware of as well. We give out eight scholarships every year. Like to, to middle school, eighth graders. Going to high school? Correct. Or going into eighth grade. Oh, okay. Yeah, going oh, into high that. school. We do. We give like $100 ones. We get, you know, we usually do for Amazon what, what gift cards. Um, like there's an art one. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I just did them last year. I don't have them handy with me. That's but okay, we do but an art nice. one. We do, I think there's seven or eight of them. We do, um, we do different... We got to, we got to. <laughs> we no, we don't do any sports. No, sports. Good, you shouldn't do sports. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, our, that our, we do Listen, academics. Our, our, we do academics. We do, um, you know, like related arts things. We do, um, you know, we donate books. You know, we do like yeah. a book scholarship. We donate books to the library. So now the book, the book fair, is that a fundraiser? That is not a fundraiser. Really? No, we probably, we might make something off of it. Just sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But how that's do you make, more. Like, how do you not or do? Well, it just goes right back into purchasing the books and I see. stuff. So you don't make any money on the books. It's not like yeah. there's like some like right, no. organization no. that donates these books no. and then you oh you gotta right. buy them. Yeah, well, it's they, through they an organization. They, they, bring they bring them. They bring them. Yeah. So, it's a vendor. It's like an outside it's vendor, vendor coming out. So if you don't sell them, you don't have to pay them. Exactly. Correct. Them. Okay. It's no risk. Correct. But now this year we did a candle fundraiser, Gold Canyon Candles. I don't okay. know if you participated, but that was something. In I the, smelled them. Yes. In the fall, we try to do a fundraiser <laughs> that's kind of like no frills. Like yeah. it's a matter of like if you want to sell something or, if, you know, we've done uh, last year we did the kids stuff books, which mm -hmm. again, you know, is no loss. It's like whatever we sold, we made. Yeah. Okay. Right. Same thing here with the candles. You know, we made 40 percent of the sales of the candles and it's just it's, it's easy. There's no, you know, there's one, you know, somebody chairs it. There's maybe a volunteer or two to just help keep it organized. Mm -hmm. But it's just, you know, if the parents want to participate, they participate. You know, okay, and we so, usually make yeah. a couple thousand dollars off of that, which is okay, that's not which bad. is helpful. Sure, just goes sure into the pot. Um, so that's so we do a fall fundraiser, and then we try to do a big fundraiser in the spring, which Amy will speak to. Well, that's let's talk about that. Let's jump that. That. Yeah. Later, but let's since we're on yeah. there. So, okay, so fundraising. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. what's what's so there's, there's a smaller fall fundraiser. Yes. What's the big Spring fundraiser. We are going to do a fabulous Vegas night. Oh. So it's going to be an auction mm -hmm. casino event. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it at the, the Western Governor Morris. Uh huh. Right. Which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. you've been there in the last couple of years, but they've renovated and it's very. It's very nice. Yeah. It's just very cool and. We have an amazing it's, space. It's an amazing space. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have. We're having an outside vendor come in and with, the, with the casino table. With tables. the whole thing and, and they're doing Perhaps, the dealing and all that. Yep. Okay. Blackjack. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a money wheel. But there's no, now is there actually going to be gambling? There's actually gambling, but okay, you win fun money, and then you were able to use that money to to get buy stuff to, to get buy ra raffle. Sort of tickets. like a fancy wheel of fortune. Mm -hmm. Sort you of. You win yeah. money, and then you yes. can pick from the yes, the right. Then you get money. tickets oh, to right. Yeah, anymore. and the more money mm -hmm. you win, the more raffle tickets you can get, and then you can try to win the fabulous prizes. Oh, so you win raffle tickets? Yes. So mm -hmm. Then it becomes like a. And then there's auction. Tricky tray kind of thing? Right, yeah, exactly. There's auction right. baskets. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a live auction, a mm -hmm. silent auction. We're also going to have a wine pole this year. A wine which, what? A wine pole, or also people call it a cork pole. What's that? Which is basically a raffle for wine. But it's everyone's a That's winner. That's going to go big in Mendo. Mm -hmm. I know. Everyone's Believe a winner. <laughs> so you pay a certain amount of money to have a chance to pull cork out of a bowl. And then you don't know what that's going to be linked up to. And then you it could be a... Ten dollar bottle of wine or a hundred bottle. So it's all bottle whatever. Of wine. And all the prizes are wine based. Mm -hmm. Just for the wine pool. Just for yeah. the wine pool. But everything mm -hmm. else will be the live right, auction will be yes. Mm -hmm. So will there be really like expensive wines? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yes. That's, that's what it is. Plan. So you're taking so you're a chance. You're hoping you're getting a good. You're wine. hoping you're getting a good wine. Or else they're all being, they'll all be delicious. But everybody's gonna. But if you participate, you win something. So it was kind of like everybody Everyone walks wins. out of that out of there mm -hmm. with with something at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. So, and how many people do you expect to come to that? We're hoping to have like 150, 200. Mm -hmm. And is, oh, that's great. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there'll be, there's going to be a signature drink. There'll mm -hmm. be an open bar. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. There'll be um, pastel What's the signature? I see, I don't drink, so I don't know. I've never drank in my I life. I think it's a type. So what's that mean? Um, um, it's going to be, we'll name it something fancy to go with our well, theme or Mendum. And it could be like a Mendum martini. I don't know what it'll it will be. It'll be like, be, just, just, just the, the idea, venue. a Kyle cooler. Just, <laughs> okay, okay, all right. That's a good one. Take it if you want. Okay. Well, we're having an effort to... We're looking also for sponsorships and donations mm -hmm. okay. to actually oh, right, have too. for the prizes. Okay. Um, so in P if when people donate, they there's different sponsor levels. Mm -hmm. So according to how much they, they are generous enough to donate, right. 
they get different types of advertising opportunities. And one of them is to be in, to have a signature drink named after them. Oh, see? So, so, if you, oh, so I've got to pony up. Yes, there you go. i got to get my pony check out. out. That's right. I see. Right. Okay. Exactly. Can I, can, I, can I then say what's in it? Um, I think that's up to the venue. I yeah. think that they do like a type of martini. But sure, I'm sure if you wanted to make it a certain flavor. Because mm -hmm. maybe, 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 I'm a, maybe I'm like a closeted like mixologist. Yeah, exactly. you could be. And I have this you whole taste new it. world I want to. But you never but taste I never it. Taste it. That's how good I am. Yes. <laughs> you can just tell it's going to be You have good. somebody else taste it. Okay, mm -hmm. so fundraising. Get yes. back to it. Let's take it sure. away from me. Although I love to talk about <laughs> me all day, as you all know. Um, okay, so fundraising. Yes. So here's what I find interesting. Mm -hmm. It's not a... We're a fairly well-off town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How is fundraising? Do you find it difficult? Do you find because 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 there's a lot of money, but, right. but we'll then, come with but, that. There's a lot of people looking for money. There's like a right. thousand of us, mm -hmm. but only right. certain TV stations, HSAs. Correct. Right. That's what right. where the problem sure lies. Competing but, with preschools, other, mm -hmm. and Mendham only has a certain amount of businesses. And it, right. So very then you few. have to go to this because we're also all patrons of other towns' businesses. Sure. So you do. So you you're do competing with the, You do. Go yeah. To Chester and especially say, hey. Chester, Burnsville, yeah, okay. Morristown. Mm -hmm. They know that people. From so do you have a hard time business. raising money for that, or? No, it's a hit or it's a it's a little bit of a fishing expedition. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's one of those things. That it's it's intimidating the first couple times you ask, but then you realize it's for a good cause and mm -hmm. it's not your personal. Right. Like and also fund. getting parents to come. I mean, it has to be the right event where people want right. to spend their money because sure. they're going to have a that's, good time. I mean, the, people don't have a problem donating to the school. No. Right. But it was like, eh, is this event worth me spending X amount of dollars? Is this right. something that I want to come out to on a right, Saturday right. We'll night? So we try. Right. right. So we really try to make it something that we think is fun so that parents get to spend the time together, right. get to know each other, meet people. And, right. you know, we think this is going to be it. This is going to be a fun night. And it is, as, as Mendham is, uh, we are very blessed, obviously, in yeah. Mendham. But there's only a certain amount of tax dollars that go to the schools. And the mm -hmm. less people we have at our schools, which is happening, the declining yeah. mm -hmm. enrollment, uh, student yeah. enrollment, the less money we are actually getting. Sure. So we are trying to subsidize that. Yeah. By, and then having, you know, we're, this year we're trying to maze, raise money to upgrade the, the media center in Mountain View. Okay. You so know. what? Okay, great. So that's that's yeah. the. So, so we can you, talk about what we've done before. So this, so here is that you, your next you, question? You I am. I'm cheating. cheating. I'm cheating. That's how you got through college. But that way you understand <laughs> what the fundraising is for, because I think some people don't know, and they're right. just like, and well, what are they doing with this money? Is it really going to our kids? And it right. is. Um, so last year's fundraiser, which was a, a similar cocktail party ish mm -hmm. event. Um, we took that money and we did a, we bought a rock wall for Hilltop in the gym. They built a rock wall. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So that was HSA. Mm -hmm. So that was installed in the fall. Um, I don't know if the kids have used it yet because they were coming up with some programming mm -hmm. for it with Mrs. Morales. Um, but we, so that was installed, and then in have you used it? I have not, but I'm hoping I get no. the opportunity. We're hoping you we should, could do like a family fun night. And you we, should. That should be when you installed it. You yeah. should say we get the get the first dibs exactly. on climbing All right, them. Go ahead, sorry. That's okay. And then in Mountain View, we helped out with their computer initiative there. So we bought computer carts and we bought a number nice. of Chromebooks. Okay, because they have like one for each. That's their whole. Correct. So so we and we try to evenly disperse the money. You know, we try so to exactly. So we try to pick two things that are comparable, or if it's going to be three or four things, whatever. We we usually ask for input from the superintendent and the principals okay. about what they would need or what they would want. Um, in previous years, you know, all the smart the, some of the smart boards at Hilltop were also donated from the HSA a number of years back. Uh, we put a new sound system in the gym. In the gym, right. so you know we try to you know just help the school upgrade whatever you know the school's budget doesn't cover. But who we comes also, up with what you want to do each year? We like, do the board. The board decides what we want the money to go to. We also um, finance that beautiful mural in the. Oh yes, that, that was a big really one. Nice. That was a that big was one. Great. Thank you for bringing it up. Yes, that was through our cultural arts program, which also does our assemblies. A lot of our assemblies are That's all beautiful... HSA funded, and they did that mural, mural which is fantastic, which was great because the kids got involved, the parents, parents got very, involved, yeah. I mean, involved, parents painted, kids painted, you know, and that's what we like to see. We like to really have a wide variety of um, things that we fund. We yeah. like the parents to get involved. We like the kids to get involved. We, we, you know, like to do things to just upgrade the schools. You know, we like to really sure. make sure that we hit all yeah. bases you know, to make the schools better for our kids. That's great. Now, when you're deciding what to spend the money on each year, is it get nasty? Like, does someone, like, really wants one <laughs> thing that someone else wants another? Does it get, like, or is it like, oh, yeah, no. that's not good. No, I think usually we tend to agree. You know, we usually have a few suggestions, a few ideas. 
Um, but there's one we, on but the board that's just really... we touch base with the principals and the yeah. board of education. Yeah, right. right? Uh, yeah, you know, Mrs. Marilla, the superintendent, she really, you know, everybody gives us ideas. And then right. we bring them to the table. And I think what's nice is the board, I mean, in the, all the time that I've been involved, everybody usually is on the same page. But there's We're one, all... right? there's always no. one. <laughs> no, but we do like, you know what, there's definitely everybody is from different backgrounds sure. and can bring up, you know, really... Pros and cons, which is nice because sometimes you think of something and, you know, you don't think of something that somebody else does that, you know, it could be a well, con, yeah. a negative, negative thing or a positive thing. Um, but at the end of the day, we're all parents and we all want the same things for our right. kids and for our school. Well, you know so. what's weird, though? Here's what I find interesting, what I think is hard to fund raise money, is that oftentimes, so like you're raising money for things for the school. Mm -hmm. But as much as we want to say we're really, we're, we're, still, we're, we're still humans and we're still very based on our own needs and wants. Mm -hmm. So you're raising money for something that for the most part will benefit kids long beyond once they graduate. True. Correct. You know, so True. unless now now I think if you have a Mendham Pride thing, then it's like yes I want to do that. Right. But then you must also come up with people who's like, well my kid's in sixth grade. I'm right. not gonna mm -hmm. spend money on I don't right. want I'm not gonna help you raise something for elementary school or is mm -hmm. so right. I, I would think that would be one of the that is a challenge. Working, um, trying to do things in the middle school for us is challenging yeah. in uh, twofold. It's hard to find things that middle school age kids are going to want to do that involves parents or, you know, it's right. coming up with something that's really going to pique their interest. That, that can be a challenge. And then also the parents, you mm -hmm. know, they're in, their kids are in middle school now. They're, you know, they're in a different stage. You're always very excited and involved and your kids are in elementary school because you're really in the thick of it. Yeah. And when you get to middle school, your kids become a little more independent and you back away and let them do their thing and you do your thing. So, yeah. So that can be challenging as well because we want to give the same attention to both schools um, and do fun things in both places, meet parents in both places and have everybody be involved. Yeah. So that's been a challenge of ours too. And I think it's starting to come together more this year than it has in past years where you're really coming up with a lot of new fresh ideas. Mm -hmm. And so it's exciting. So stay tuned because I think we're going to have a lot really? of fun stuff coming up you know, this year and, and even for next year. We've already started planning for you know, 2017, yeah. 2018, so. Um, oh, that's great. So it really is great, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, here's what, when I first got here, and I knew nobody, I was like, oh, I don't really want to get involved, mm -hmm. I want to meet people. Mm -hmm. And I actually thought for a second, well, maybe I'll join the HSA, mm -hmm. but it was, it's always women. Yes, and we could use more dads. Really? So they're welcome. Yeah, of course. Dads are absolutely. absolutely welcome. And we do have some dads that jump on, especially like last year, we had a couple of dad volunteers that helped out with the big fundraiser because mm -hmm. they were, you know, home. You know, they worked from home, yeah. so they were able to come to some of the meetings. But we would love dads to get involved. As we're, we're not just a mom organization. Right. We're a parent organization. Right. That's so important. Yeah, that's So what right. works yes. with a parent schedule, it can be either parent, it could be, you know, it could be a guardian. If, it's, if your grandma's the one that's really involved, I mean, we don't... Yeah. We don't discriminate. Yeah, we do not discriminate <laughs> against volunteers. No. Well, that's that's, that's sure. good, because I worked at home, too, and I was like, well, yeah. but I'm like, oh, that'll be weird, and right. then it's no. like, who's this creepy guy? No. no. I mean, that's hey, it's, it's yeah. really... Actually, we sometimes enjoy a dad's perspective, because yeah. right. it, it definitely varies from a mom's perspective. Right. And, yeah, and we have working moms, sure. home yeah. moms. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me ask you this. Yes. Okay, so if a guy comes in... Mm -hmm. We're guys, mm -hmm. and we generally think we know everything. Mm -hmm. Do you find <laughs> I can see like a guy coming in there and thinking like, okay, and then he's sort of like, oh yeah, that's a cute idea, and then sort of wanting to sort of right. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be more political. No, no. It. you're like, that's yeah, great, but but you know, I can see that being you know, because it's is it it would would it change the dynamic? Do you think? No. I don't think so. No? No, I mean... Okay. We can I hold our own in a maybe every sure I, think, <laughs> I think every guy may be different. Yeah. Well, I, uh -oh. When you spoil it down, we're kind of all pretty like Neanderthal. <laughs> you know, but okay, so I was just wondering. But, but guys, so I think that dads can bring some fresh ideas. Definitely. So even if you email us an idea, I mean, even if you can't make a meeting or mm -hmm. you can't, you know, you can't be involved right. during the school day because you do work, it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate your thoughts, your ideas, right. you know, or emails. That we, yeah, your feedback is just great. Oh, also, I mean, we have a Facebook page. Right. You know, we have a website. What's your Facebook page? Tell it. Mendenboro HSA. That's good. On Facebook. That's and we good. have a website, you know, which is mm -hmm. mendemhsa.com. You you're the ones that put together the book, right? The, the contact book each year or no? Yeah, we don't do the book anymore because oh. it's all online. Oh, so you want to be, that, you be green. That, right? That was kind of a fundraiser, but not yeah. really. No, I mean, which a lot of people still like the paper copy. Mm -hmm. So that's been, you know, we have got some feedback on that. They wish really? they could still thumb through a directory that was sitting in a drawer. But um, 
but it's all online now because that's the way of the world. So um, yeah, so when you're a member, you know, that's what the membership fee really just covers our oh, okay. our costs of you know so you can't of maintaining. Get that list unless you're a member. Right. Okay. Good. So that helps. Yeah. So yeah. you buy your membership. You get to. See, you'll have access to our you know directory. We have an iPhone app and an Android which app, is very helpful. which is very really? helpful. So I it's a directory mine. app. So you can just have it right on your phone. That is great because when you can you're just look people up. Yes. No. I agree. Right, when you're, you're just, like and your kids like, have oh, meltdown in the car and doesn't know the homework parent, and I need the parent's number to find mm -hmm. out what the homework is. Or what's that parent's mm -hmm. name? Right. Yes. Oh my right. gosh. Oh yeah. Right. That's my class list. Goulier. I wish. Goulier. 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 <laughs> Goulier just sounds French. And it sounds like you would be on the net, like in the Canadian hockey team. If you were like, oh, the Amy French Goulier. hockey team. Yeah. French hockey what? Team. There's only, well, it's French Canadian. I know, but is there any hockey teams in France? No, they don't. They in don't, France. They don't. You don't want to go to France, sport. obviously. Oh God, like I am part French. Are you? Mm -hmm. My great grandmother was born in France. Well, she probably can't ask her about the hockey. She's probably going to put this in the But yes, yeah, but, but I think. Golier is really great too. It's a great, it's a great name. Yeah, it's, it's not like family. your maiden name, but whatever. Yeah, and from the directory under G. <laughs> exactly. Look, you guys are so good at this. Seriously, I asked oh, one question, you. and I don't have to do that question. I don't have to do this. So question. another thing, I would like, I would like to bring up also something else we do. Oh, we're not done. Um, don't worry. About I know, that. but I, but I, you know, aside from fundraising, doing things, you know, for the kids and yeah. the parents, we also are very appreciative of our teachers and our staff at our schools. Okay. So we do. <laughs> so, well, well, we are. I mean, we couldn't do what we do without them. Right. Yeah, so we always like to just let them know that we run uh, teacher and staff appreciation mm -hmm. lunches throughout the year at the middle at the elementary school and during teacher appreciation yeah. week at the middle school, which um, you know our parents do a ton of work for that. Um, but we just we rely on our teachers to support what we do because right. that helps just facilitate everything because they're the ones at yeah. the school every day you know so um we and that's just like a, them to know that we appreciate really what they do because i never understood even before i had kids i never understood the lack of i don't know like i don't think we appreciate teachers we yeah. set our kids and they're there with them more than they're with us mm -hmm. right. waking hours during right. the day during mm -hmm. the week right and it's like, oh, we'll just pay him 30. Like, we'll pay him as oh, little as we can. It's heartbreaking. You, I mean, yes. it, it always struck mm -hmm. me as weird. Like, they, and I'm not just kissing up to the teachers. No, I absolutely agree. Although, you know. They have a hard time. Yeah. You know, cusp of the grade. <laughs> you guys should be getting more money. Mm -hmm. But seriously, like, you know, like, why aren't they getting mm -hmm. 200 no. that? Like, it doesn't make any no. sense yeah. to me. I know. And they, you know, and no one goes, and they get into it because they're dedicated. And mm -hmm. Right. It's a shame. Right. Yeah. For the kids. And even uh, such a, such a blessed school mm -hmm. district mm -hmm. still struggling with money like right. and this is something you want to talk about because this time I don't think this you guys were involved with this but I I think it happened at one of your meetings recently there's some con not controversy there's a little bit of con like people are upset about the fourth grade field trip sure. going mm -hmm. away mm -hmm. and somehow there was something happened at your meeting but you're not involved with the field trip well so what happened no. Right? no but we have our general meeting that we run an evening general meeting that we run in the fall just the once in the fall yeah, we have we have general meetings every other month okay. that take place in the morning at eight forty five. Okay. Um, for the general public school, anybody's welcome to join us, and that's where we give our reports on all our committees yeah. and everything. And the, but we do an evening one in the fall, to following the evening book fair. Okay. So at yeah, the same yeah, yeah. time, you know, to reach out to some of the sure. parents that possibly are working during the day and can't make the morning ones. And normally at that meeting, we host a guest speaker. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's our school counselors. This year it was uh, Mrs. Morello, our superintendent, okay. kindly offered to speak. So she spoke to the district and, you know, all the issues that she thought. She actually, we tried to poll mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the, the parents to see what they would like to talk about because she was willing to talk yeah. about whatever they wanted to talk about. Um, so we talked about some topics there, and the fourth grade field trips were one of the topics. Yeah. So that's how we kind of got involved in that. We kind of just were the the forum Where for this happens. open conversation right. that we we knew was going to be a conversation. Um, and then we also had members, yes, of the of the teachers. How did that union. go? I uh, fine. Yes. I mean. Um, Parents were very upset, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, obviously, yeah. you know, things become tradition. Children are looking forward to them. Yeah. Um, and I guess parents just felt that they. I feel that they weren't. It wasn't that they were opposed to change. They just didn't feel what it got switched out for was something comparable. was was comparable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think that's what upset them. And they just felt like they weren't really getting the truthful truthful answer as to why it right. got switched. Right. So. I don't know how it's been resolved. I know uh, the superintendent was willing to speak with these parents outside of that forum yeah. and find out, you know, what would lie. But 
uh, but the basic, what she was trying to basically say was up to teachers. Teachers decide what field trips in every grade that they go on. They okay. have to get approved by the principals right. and such, but they know the curriculum. They know yeah. what would, you know, what field trips would enhance the curriculum. So they trust the, their teachers to choose field trips that are along those lines. So I don't know how it got resolved. It was not an HSA thing. Sure, right. But we like to support our parents. We like to support our teachers. And if it means bringing them together so they can discuss sure. their issues and get the answers that they want, you know, we try to facilitate that. Okay. Um, let me ch change gears a little bit and be less SH HSA specific mm -hmm. and more town borough. Okay, sure. Now, you have lived here how long? I have lived here in, in Mendham since for 12 and a half years. Okay, and you have been here? 25 years overall, but seven years since. But you grew up here? I grew up in Mendham. Went to school in Mendham? I went to Mendham Borough Schools. Did you go to Hilltop? Hilltop. I went to Hilltop, I went to Mountain View, wow. and Mendham High School. Is that weird then coming back now as a parent? It, it isn't, it, it should be, I mean it's different people now. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not, right? Few, Mrs. I mean there's a few people, isn't there Mrs. actually Mrs. Morales was my gym teacher. Oh she was? I was in sixth or seventh grade and it was her first year, so okay. you know, maybe I was like 12. What about like Mrs. 12. McAuliffe? No. She wasn't here? No. I don't think, not, not that I can. Okay. But number of parents, yeah. though, yes, I mean, yes. too, because a lot of people seem to. Because now they're yeah. kids. Yeah. Right. A lot of people, right. a lot of people move back, which sure. I think mm -hmm. says a lot about the town. Mm -hmm. It does. So now here's what I want. So here's, mm -hmm. as, this, as this, is, this is my thing, and I bring it up in every show. Mm -hmm. um, I moved here, and there is a weird, like, uh, con competition mm -hmm. between the borough mm -hmm. and the township. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you're not denying it. George, no, it's a, it's wherever you are, she's not denying it. Mm -hmm. George denies it. I'm already talking about it. I, I'm not denying that it's a, a perceived competition. But it, you, wait, what? You just <laughs> blew my mind. What's the difference between a perceived competition and uh, actual competition? Well, I don't feel like, I feel like they're very different. I feel like they're almost like two different towns. Right. Mm -hmm. But what's nice about a lot of the sports and stuff is that we, okay. we end up coming together. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, in high school? And, and well, in all, like, well, all sports, or, really, know. now. They've really combined most sports. Yeah. Well, most sports are mm -hmm. both of the men. But not just sports, like, just like, just uh, No, but we all together, so then we start to interact with I her. see. Was it, right. when you were coming up, was there less and I feel like it was. Integration? I, I think it was more, it, it was more of a perceived thing. And then once I got to high school and I started making friends with all the township people, I was like, oh, what, what was the, right. what was the thing again? And you're like, I don't, yeah. But there's a thing. Because I think it's like it's like almost like. But I think it's like any cities. two towns. But I think yeah, it's, it's like, like any towns. Twin, like you know, wherever towns. you live, but they're you so think, similar. You think I mean, you rock. Similar, but they're not. But they're it's not like we're talking about like. No. You know, Mendham and Los Angeles. Right. It's Mendham Township, Mendham Borough. Right. One has more property. Mm -hmm. Right. One doesn't know. Where, one has to go somewhere else to go trick or treat. Mm -hmm. That's the only. <laughs> right. thing. You know what I'm saying? Like we. No, sure. So that's sure. but otherwise. So, right. so. How do I, like, so, okay, so why am I supposed to hate the township? Tell you're, me. I don't think you're supposed no, to hate the township. <laughs> I don't think you do. Because the borough rocks. Right. But they're, but they're, so they're, right, they're, the borough they're rocks. They're rocks. They're just they're, they're, it is, it is, They're different. It's very different. I mean, one is... Is it very different? It's I different. think it's very different. Like, I have some township friends, and when we compare our, you know, our day-to-day -day in terms of, you know, like, even just for the school example, mm -hmm. I think just... You know, a lot of uh, we don't we don't do busing in the borough. Like right. you know, very few kids right. get bus, right. so That's we're true. all at pick up and drop off, and we have the chance to socialize and meet people and right. see people. Yeah. In the township, that's just not the case because a lot of kids are bus. Most, are Most right. kids are bus, and the pick up is a very like you just pick up your kid in a line and you go. Yeah. What you do in the borough too, but only a percentage do that. Sure. Not everybody. Sure. Right. So I think just the interaction with each other. Um, right. is just different amongst parents. I don't think the kids would see any any right, difference, right. you know, well, uh, you yeah. know, but I think with parents it's just a different right. you know, you may have some more working parents in the in the township. You may not. I'm not really sure what the numbers there, right. but yeah. Um, right. I think just, just geography. That, just geography. That Mendham Borough is in this, the, the mm -hmm. center of the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's. See, I think there's resentment right. in the township that We're they don't close. really have but any I think, stores. But I think that they, I think <laughs> they like stores. it too. I think some. There's I think sandals. it might be both. Like some mm -hmm. are like, oh, I don't want to have all that like traffic mm -hmm. or. Mm -hmm. Oh, all that traffic. All that. All those. <laughs> all those. those commercialism. Those yeah. kids with the rock. Yeah. See, I mean, I like the borough because I like to walk. I mean, I like to walk with my kids uptown to do something. You know, walk to Robinsons and get a piece of candy, or walk. You know, walk just take a walk to Kings or, but you not, know. But not every borough kid has that opportunity either. So. No, right. no. Correct, so. Okay. I think you just have to be comfortable with where you are. <laughs> right. And like where you are. Yeah, no, I know. Be but happy I mean, with where you are. You know, but that was always like, wait, what? Yeah. Right. Because it was, seemed so interesting right. to me. But the borough does rock. Yeah. Right, we, 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 just between the three of us. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> 
Township, yeah. please. <laughs> oh, can I also mention? Um, I'm not done, but yeah. Walk and roll. Can you mention walk and roll? Walk and roll. Oh yes. Well, you're. Uh, Amy is very um, involved in our green initiatives program at our right. school, so she would like to speak to that. Oh, so well, <laughs> and then the other thing that the HSA right. does, like we talked about, it's not all fundraising. Uh -huh. It's also just about mm -hmm. community and, and educating the kids. And and there's the green initiative is a um, is an environmental awareness group committee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we um, run the walk and roll in okay. the spring and the fall, which is like a initiative for kids to, to walk to school instead of taking their cars. their cars. And how often do we do the walk and roll? We do walk it the roll. first uh, like six weeks mm -hmm. of the school year and the last six weeks so of the school year. So it's every Friday. Oh, okay. Every Friday. We encourage the kids to meet up like mm -hmm. at the gazebo or meet up, you know, make right. a couple meet up so, right. points depending if, where you okay. live. So even if they, they don't live in walking distance, they can drive, drive to the gazebo. Yeah, right, yeah. some people just together. drop their kids at the gazebo and then a, a big right. group can walk up together. Do they do it in the winter time, sir? Or do you no, do we, it we um, end of October is the last. I and mean, we pick it up off. back around Earth Day. And then they get stickers, they get little... They, they do, do. They get, we give them some, this this past um, go was stickers. Mm -hmm. The next one will maybe be charms, different charms for each week, and you want to collect all six weeks. Oh, and that's then, good. And then do you and win something? You do, and it's, per, it's whoever has the most walkers, per class, percentage-wise, wins an extra recess. Oh. So if your class has 80% walkers, that's, that's the good. highest. Mm -hmm. And the kids are aware of this? They are, yes. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's, that's great. A, it's a really fun, and that's it's another it's great, great thing that everyone lives in, a lot of people mm -hmm. live in walking distance. Right, you're not doing walk and roll in the township, no, are you? Right. No. Right. Right. No. <laughs> and you know what's great, and this is a, just a prime example, um, we have Amy and we have a couple other lovely moms that volunteer with this Green Initiatives who are really into environmentally right. friendly practices, and that's why that's successful. Yeah. You sure. know what I mean? There's so something. so th if somebody is really passionate about something, that's you know, it. yeah, like, let us know, hey. You so know, you're open to people uh, thinking, hey, I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do this. Can I? Can I? How Absolutely. Do I do you know, and that's right. also we do like the after school enrichments. Uh -huh. So we really rely on parents to give us ideas about that too. You know what your kids are into. You know maybe what you know the kids might want to do. We need ideas of what the kids want to do after school. What is the you know? Do you we guys run do the, that after school program? We do. We run the enrichment oh. program as well. So okay. we have a volunteer who reaches out to the teachers to see what classes they would like to teach, reaches out to the community to mm -hmm. see, you know, like sometimes we have martial arts or we have yoga or we have whatever, so they reach out to the community and yeah. try to get these, you know, programs in the school. So yeah, so we run an enrichment, so we had just one which is finishing up, I believe, I don't mm -hmm. think it's done yet. Um, and then we have another one that will be like, like early spring, yeah, oh, okay. late yeah. winter, like March-ish, I mm -hmm. think we're gonna try to do this year just to beat the summer activities. Um, so yeah, so we run enrichment too. I mean, there's so many things that HSA does. It's yeah. not just about, hey, we just want your money. We're running this fundraiser. Come help us volunteer, volunteer. You know, like, we do so much. We yeah. do, you know, and there's just so many ways to get involved. It's been real. Right. You know, great. and we need skill sets. We need skill, yeah. skill sets. Are like, I, we have the website. Well, I run the web, you know, like our board runs the website. I'm the one that updates the website. Yeah. I'm the one that does the web page. You know, we have somebody that does the Facebook page. She's very good at it. Um, you know, we send email newsletters. We need some people who are good with stuff like yeah. that, good right. with graphics, good with setting stuff up, you know? So there's always something for somebody, a dad. You know, a dad who's great on the computer, hey, we would love you to yeah. be able to do that on your own time for us. We tell you what needs to be done and you can just run with it, you know? Yeah. And so That's really great. is something. So if someone wanted to get involved and hadn't known to or hasn't mm -hmm. been able to, who would they who would they contact? Or would they and I'll put it up on the screen. And sure, they can email us at mendumborough HSA at gmail.com and that's Burrow, the B O R O U G H. Oh, Sometimes people school. just do the B O R O. Um, or, you know, they can, you know, our all our information is on our um, our website, which, which is, is mendumhsa.com. Okay. So you, there's all contact information on there as well, and there, there's even just a contact form you can fill out mm -hmm. and it'll email to one of us. Um, so yeah, feel free. You know, if there's something that you can offer us, let us know, and we'll see where you know it fits in. Because we we want we want parents to be involved. And another note, um, you know, you were saying you were new to the district yeah. not long ago. You were thinking of doing that. We we do have a buddy program. We have somebody who chairs a buddy program. Which so is? in the summer, we the principals give us any new students that they have. They uh -huh. give us their family's information, and we have a chair that reaches out to them and tries to set up. You know, a meet and greet, a social, whatever they want. Or right. if they want to know, hey, we have, you know, I have a, you know, a fifth grader and a second grader. You know, we can hook you up with a family maybe right. that we know that has a fifth grader and a second right, grader right. or something in that terms, and you know, just to 
buddy no, up great. with so the kids before they start school, you know, maybe have met a family or that's two. Really nice. Or even if you join mid year, yeah. you know, just gives us the opportunity to reach out to you and say, Welcome. That's Let great. us know if you need right. anything. Because that's a friendly face. And it's also it's also a mm-hmm. I think this town could be a tough Mm-hmm. Not it's to very, crack. It's it could very be. close, close mm-hmm. knit. You know, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, right. it takes a while mm-hmm. yeah. to get people to right. not everybody, but to smile mm-hmm. at you or to say hi, right. because it is so close knit. So when you come in, I think it's mm-hmm. you know my kids were already here. They're my stepkids, so they were already here. Right. right. I wish there was a buddy program for an adult that I could. Just right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's great. That's really good. Right. That's and that's what's great families. about the HSA mm-hmm. is that there's mm-hmm. so many different opportunities to volunteer. Whether or not mm-hmm. you want to take on a big project. Or uh, just volunteer, mm-hmm. or just come to the meetings. Or, yeah, so you know, so you're in the know. You know, come to the meetings. Right, right. You know, With just your input. Sit in the back. You know, listen, see what's going on. Are you take every note. week or every month. Or so? We have every other month. We have our general meetings. Yes. Yeah, so our next one will be January because we just had ours in November. So and our next one. Information is on the website. All the information on the website. But our next one will be in January. So okay. 8:45 in the morning. Hilltop Cafeteria is usually where we host it. We do, you know, occasionally we, we have an, one in Mountain View at the end of the year. Okay. Um, but yeah, everybody's welcome. So that's great. it's a great opportunity to just see who the people are. And if you are new as a parent, that's a great place to come. And you know, yeah. we do a parent. We do do a parent coffee. You know, the first day of school for that purpose too. Mm-hmm. After the kids go into the building, we host Isn't a coffee. Is that for el- elementary kids? I mean, for any nope. kindergarten kids? No, oh, no, we do a parent. No, we do it. No, we do a parent coffee. Okay. So once you drop your kids off and they go in, the parents just mingle in the cafeteria. Oh, okay. We have coffee. We have food. Um, another thing we do for our teachers over the summer, we when they're in the in-service days, we provide lunch for them. Really? We do. Oh, that's we nice. we host a luncheon for their in-service two days, you know, before the kids start. See, I back. didn't know. See, and this is this is mm-hmm. what like that's really all this stuff is really great to know because mm-hmm. I didn't know like sixty mm-hmm. percent of what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. I mean, I knew you guys did amazing stuff, right. but I didn't know how amazing you were. Yeah. I'd been more right. intimidated had I known <laughs> having this interview. <laughs> so I appreciate all that you do. Oh, is there anything you. else I'm missing or forgetting you want to bring up? Gosh, I think about? we I think we hit everything. But that, but again, thank you for this opportunity because go the ahead. fundraiser on it's on Saturday, oh. March 11th. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the the, the gambling it's, one. Um, yes, yes, the, it's casino, the, the Vegas, Vegas night. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it sounds better than the gambling one. Yeah, fabulous Vegas night. Mm-hmm. Is it? Do you have to dress up? You do not have to no. dress up. There's no, there's no like, it's no. just like, it's like we're Monte Carlo? Be, no, no, no. No, we're just doing Vegas, yeah. We're trying to, I mean, which is great oh, so about it's Vegas. Vegas. So I can wear shorts. Like, I like to like dress up. Shorts, like, or you can wear your your skinny jeans and your boots, or yeah. you can wear your fancy dress. I have yes. Vegas, I haven't goes. been able to fit in skinny yeah. jeans in about 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't invent skinny jeans, unfortunately, when I was, but that's good to know. Yeah. You guys can totally rock the skinny jeans. We just want to have fun. The main goal is to. And there is a, this venue is great, like a, Amy had said, you know, we're, they have a wonderful place, but we, we're going to probably just have a little after party after it. Mm-hmm. They gave us a fabulous room rate, so if you wanted to make a whole night of it and oh, stay nice. over. Um, that's, a date night for the parents? That's sure, right. Yeah, yeah that's so make, you know, you can make a whole thing of it. Um, but yeah, Super. it's anything goes, it's going to be really fun. That's good. We're all about fun this year. Right. It's just about coming Commun- and having fun. And community and mm-hmm. having fun and making some money for the kids. And doing better in the township. <laughs> That's you saying that. Yeah, we didn't say that. And I don't even know why I say that, but I'm supposed to. But yeah, but um, thank you for this opportunity for us oh, to yeah, share with you. the community. Um, well, thank you for coming and, yeah. and hopefully we'll have you back. Sure, maybe next anytime. year we'll have more stuff going on. Sure. Maybe we'll talk, you know, maybe closer to the fundraiser. We can do well, something, little, even a really little, 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 little promo. Yes. Yeah, please, please do. Yes, please. Yeah, please, we absolutely. would love that. It would be great. Um, okay, so uh, that's it for what's up with the Mendums. Thanks for tuning in again. Hopefully, next week George can get out of his pajamas and come to the come to work. Um, don't forget uh, to like us on Facebook at Mendum TV. Also, we have a YouTube page. Um, all of this will be available on the YouTube page. So if you were so like in love with these two women and say, "Oh my God, I need to get more of this HSA info," you can watch it over and over and over again on a loop. <laughs> and other stuff we have um, that's also Mendum TV on YouTube. And um, uh, our big fundraiser is coming up in March uh, for the Mendy's, but it doesn't stop you from putting, giving us money beforehand. We sent out a mailer for uh, donations, anywhere from a dollar to $200,000. So anything <laughs> you want to do. Um, we are completely um, community uh, supported, and we need your support as, much as, the, as well as they do. So uh, spread it out over this holiday season. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. I appreciate right, thank it. You. All right.